What's going on guys? This is me, Asin. So I don't know if you've been keeping track of the OCG metagame breakdown videos that I've been making recently. Well, actually since forever, which I strongly recommend you to watch, by the way, they're really good. Or, uh, you know, the uh, Road of the King articles in general that are, uh, you know, always published by It's Your Boy Akira, the man, the myth, the legend. But you would actually know that Labyrinth is the top best performing deck right now, in the OCG at least. And there are a bunch of reasons for that. It might actually uh, be one of the best trap decks against Ishizu Tier Laments. It can turbo out, you know, Necro Valley and the other disgusting floodgates. And the Lady of the Labyrinth can also get you access to pretty much any normal trap card from your deck, which means uh, D Barrier Abuse. <laughs> Absolutely disgusting. So today I'll show you guys a bunch of combos on how to utilize this deck, even though it's not really a combo deck. It's a trap deck, but it does have some nice combos. So before this video starts, you already know it. My man, friendly reminder to smash that like and subscribe button. I really appreciate you if this video can get to 1,000 likes, which I know we can do, by the way, because we've been there before. I will be making a live stream on this deck, and you already know it, deck profile coming up tomorrow. There's always people asking me in the comments, when are we getting the deck profile, Yak Sign? First of all, my, num's, my name's not Yak Sign, and second of all, it's gonna be tomorrow. So now let's jump right into it. All right, so combo number one, I have the Field Spell as well as Welcome Labyrinth. Not too bad. So activate the Field Spell and then uh, set your Welcome Labyrinth and pass turn. Oh my god, Yak Sign, that's such a good combo. No way, that's insane. Yo, shut up, okay? It's gonna be a flow of execution. Look at what it can do on my opponent's turn. So my opponent's summoning a Fenrir, and then I'm gonna go Special Summon the L Labyrinth of the Silver Castle on my opponent's turn, and then destroy that Fenrir because of the Field Spell granting that effect to my Welcome Labyrinth shop card. Whatever, it's complicated. Not really, but yeah, I mean, if you if you can read cards, it's uh, not complicated. But, uh, you know, yu gi -Mon players, whatever. <laughs> and since a monster left the field by the effect of a normal shop card, I can trigger the lovely Labyrinth to make my opponent, well, destroy a card in their hand or in the field without targeting. And it's any card, which is not too bad. So I can destroy one card in my opponent's hand, and just like that, assuming that my opponent passes on pretty much nothing because I was able to make him lose like two cards just with two cards, and I still have three other cards to deal with, uh, well, to play with, so <laughs> they're gonna have to deal with all of my other cards. Look at what he can do just with the follow-up of la Lovely la Lady. That's not even its name. Lovely Labyrinth. I'm so stupid. Anyways, recycle back my welcome and then attack for 29. Set one back row and then on my opponent's turn, you're gonna see how I always have a way of just repeating the exact same actions while generating advantage continuously. So I keep on destroying cards again and again and again. I search cards with the effect of the Ariana. I think that's the name or is it Ariana? It's Ariana. Ariana is kind of bad. And because I'm searching the Lady Labyrinth, oh, this is the one, I can actually fetch a trap card whenever I activate a trap card. So I started off with two cards and any one trap, and now I have three monsters on the field, two trap cards, I'm top decking to another card. The lovely Labyrinth can keep on recycling back traps again and again and again. I can get my floodgates, I can just keep on getting more cards whenever a trap leaves the field. I can pop more cards, draw a card with the effect of Ariana, and this is untargetable and undestructible by card effects while I control a set card, so this is just absolutely nasty. The, the snowballing of this deck is really disgusting. If you can get the ball going, you will pretty much always win the game with this deck. And that's the really cool part about it. But that's it for combo number one. Let's get right into combo number two. All right, combo number two is when we start getting into nasty territory. Because combo number one was just like a flow of execution. What you can do over time. But now we're pretty much doing things on turn one. So I have Ariana with Shadrig and Dean. Look at how nasty it is. I'm going to be searching the lovely lady... Is it the name? Is it Lady Labyrinth? I'm so dumb, man. It's not even lovely. Well, I mean, it, it's kind of it kind of is lovely, but it doesn't have it in its name. So yeah, special summon it because I use the effect of a Labyrinth monster or a normal trap card this turn. And then use the Shit Rig indeed right away because as you can clearly see, I don't have any traps in my grave. And because of the fact that I'm doing that, the Lady of the Labyrinth can trigger in order to get myself any trap card. And uh, last time I checked, d Barrier was not too bad, huh? And now I can make the Dweller. And on my opponent's turn, obviously you're going to be using the Dweller ASAP. And when I want to use that, uh, you know, D-Barrier to do anything, the Lady of the Labyrinth is going to be triggering again. And, uh, you know, that's a nice Baguska you got there. Really doesn't do anything to my life. If you want to make a Zeus, it's not really going to work. It's basically going to do nothing. You're under Dweller, so those are some nice mails. Nice deck, ha, huh? kick W. And uh, it's just a matter of time before I win this game because, again, every single time I use a trap card, I generate resources. So, yeah, bounce back the uh, Lady of the Labyrinth with my big welcome. Search and then special summon the uh, lady again. Search the Kook Lock and then use it so I can use the trap card right away, which would be the welcome. Summon the uh, lovely lady, uh, this one, this this time it's the right one, and get back another trap card. Set another card, and this is uh, 
back to square well not really back to square anything because we've never been in this position before but very similar to what i showcased in combo number one but this time instead of being like turn five it's turn three so like you're one turn ahead basically if you draw the nuts so yeah in other words be skillful Okay, so what happens in like a real Yu-Gi-Oh context, basically? My opponent has Nimble Beaver, uh, Gisachi La Fenrir, Ash, Starter, and Carrot. I have a random five hands, so Extravagance, Lady uh, Labyrinth, as well as Ariana, the field spell, and Big Welcome. I'm gonna go Extravagance first. Everybody will always Ash this card because, you know, why would you not Ash Pot of Greed? And my extra deck really doesn't matter. Like, I never need my extra deck to win. Uh, Kuglock is really nasty here, so activate the field spell, summon the Lady... And then use that big, big welcome uh, right away because I can use a trap card during the turn it was set if I use the effect of Kukulok. And of course, that would trigger the Lady uh, Labyrinth, which gets me any trap card, really doesn't matter which one. Uh, D-Bear is not too bad, but if I'm getting Ashed, it's usually not really like Tier Man, so I don't really have to go for D-Bear for fusion. I can go for like pretty much anything else. And again, I can get back another trap card with uh, the uh, lovely Labyrinth, which is... Oh my god, I can't believe you can do all of that super easy and destroy a card in my opponent's hand on turn one. Like, this is insane because I'm gonna keep destroying more cards in my opponent's hand. Bounce back the Kuklok, destroy the Fenrir, and then draw one card, destroy another card in my opponent's hand. I'm basically hand looping, like at this point it's just ridiculous. And then use the trap card that I used before, which is uh, the punishment in this context. Get another card with a uh, thingy. And then revive back a Fiend Monster with a Field Spell, Welcome Labyrinth, Summon the Lady, and now I basically have game on board. <laughs> I can go Battle Phase, and that's basically just already it. I'm like, uh, well, how much is this? 89, 16, uh, 11, 50, uh, approximately a lot. And oh, by the way, I can keep uh, on bouncing back the Kook Lock so I can use it again and again and again. Get back another card, destroy a card in my opponent's hand, Special Summon another monster from the deck. And then trigger the lady, <laughs> get another chap, summon a monster from the deck, and then search again. Bro, I have five monsters. I have five monsters and five back on turn three. Are you kidding me? This is ridiculous. <laughs> this is what happens with a full hand on this on this uh, with this deck. Like Alter guys can't even do that, and it's a trap deck that is pretty much known to have a very good uh, snowballing game. So imagine this uh, coupled with like other floodgates and stuff, because everything is like fiend uh, f uh, dark. So that you can play Rivalry, goes in match, and your monsters are pretty big, so you can play Skill Drain as well. And uh, yeah, D-Barrier, because uh, the extra deck is a joke. You can play Artifact Sanctum if you want to, and you can search it because it's a normal trap. Oh my god, the world is your oyster. But that's it for this one, let's get right into combo number 4, and the final one actually. Alright, so this is not really a combo, it's rather just a game, but before we proceed into it, friendly reminder of course, to smash the like and subscribe button, I really appreciate you guys. And uh, yeah, so I'm basically setting three and pass turn, uh, passing turn there. My hand's not necessarily the best, but it is what it is. So my opponent can actually do a couple of things here. So Keldo, pitch the Kelbeck, mill a bunch of cards, and then trigger the Meru. I don't really have a D barrier or anything. So a bunch of cards will resolve, unfortunately for me. Uh, but at this point, I can finally flip the skill drain and prevent that Kit Kalos from searching. And my opponent doesn't have a monster that can actually run over the Lady Labyrinth. So that's uh, good for me. I can actually sponge and not die because dying is bad. I don't really recommend trying to die. No, the Kelbeck is trying to bounce my Lady. That is not good, but it's fine because I can still survive. Go Trap Trick into Welcome, summon the Labyrinth uh, Silver Castle. And then my opponent is going to be trying to dig into the out of skill drain because uh it's kind of rough if your opponent doesn't have you know access code talker to like uh destroy well, banish it for cost but either way i had the dogmatic punishment for it so you know good resource game you can win with pretty much just two or three cards or well at least survive and then obviously you're gonna win over time and if your opponent doesn't have the field spell then uh, this is what happens skill drain really does something against the deck and uh, even though my opponent is milling a bunch of cards i can actually get the big welcome labyrinth in the grave and bounce back a card so, yeah, that's actually something, not gonna lie. The fact that uh, milling cards, well, it's supposed to be a bad thing for you, it's actually helping me out to a certain extent, is uh, not too bad. So, yeah, going to be triggering even more effects, though, pretty nasty. Last time I checked, uh, Tirolemancy Shizu was the best deck, but right now, doesn't really look like I'm under that much pressure, huh? You wanna, you know, try to jump over my monsters? Good luck getting there. It's not gonna work. I'm just gonna be destroying that Borlo Dragon and bounce back the Kaleido Heart. So that uh, all of your efforts are absolutely fruitless. And I can just go like Blue Eyes, White Dragon, attack, 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 attack. And there is not much that you can do about it, really. I can just keep on setting more cards again and again and again. Shuffling back the field spells, trying to draw one. 
but it's not gonna work because my opponent is bad at the game. You have to set a monster. Nice deck, Bernard. Oh, you're so screwed. Compose back the monster and attack for a game. <laughs> Merry Christmas, man. Labyrinth, best deck. What can I say, bro? But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for the deck profile and also today for another video, I think. So yeah, thank you guys and I'll see you very soon. Peace.